I will lead you through the techniques in generating traffic via buying solo ads from the other vendors. Buying solo ads with other vendors is indeed the fastest and most effective way to generate traffic to your site for starters. In addition, the calculation of how much you spend depends on how much traffic the vendors send to your page, pay-per-click. This way you can get targeted leads that are interested in your niche. Instead of getting useless traffic to your site without making any purchases, you get the targeted leads as well as increasing your email list. What makes buying solo ads the best is you can see instant results and conversion rates to your site. First and foremost, you need to understand that solo ad emails serve as a pre-sell. It doesn't make any sales yet. The solo ad emails you send to the readers only leads them to your squeeze page with your free report to download. Hence, the solo ad message and squeeze page must be congruent so it makes sense to the readers. Once again, I want to show you another example of my squeeze page with the headline, Big Red Arrow, and the orange opt-in form. It's worth mentioning a squeeze page once again because it is a fundamental tool to the success of affiliate business. A squeeze page should be simple but action-oriented. As mentioned, pre-sell to give a teaser to the readers. After the headline, the big red arrow to lead the readers to the opt-in form. It has been tested that if you only ask for their email instead of name and email, results come in at a higher conversion rate. A small reminder for the opt-in form, use an orange or yellow button. It's proven to create higher conversion rates as well. Don't use other colors. Also to increase the conversion rate, use single opt-in instead of double opt-in. This is what I've learned from my experience throughout the years. You can use the basic format for an email I taught in the previous modules for writing a solo ad email. Let's revise the format once again. First, keep the email short and precise, within 55 characters per line, with 200 words maximum. Insert three URLs that link to the same site in the beginning, middle, and the end of your email. The additional technique I'm going to discuss here is the semi-blind offer. You only give half the information about the offer. Arouse their curiosity to know more about what the next offer is that you're going to give them. This is an example of a solo ad email. You can start with stating the problem the readers are facing right now. Insert a URL after this. And then, you tell them the solution for the problem. Same thing here, you insert another URL here. You can end it right after this with a call to action, or continue with a PS line and end it with an extra URL. Keep in mind that you send the traffic to your squeeze page first. Do not send the traffic straight away to the vendor's page. This is a vital step for building your own email list first. You can track the conversion rate or the clicks you send to the vendor's page through Google Analytics and Link Tracker tool. Google Analytics is a free service from Google. Simply search it in the Google engine and sign up for free. However, there are several Link Tracker tools available online that you can purchase to have more features. There are some questions to ask the solo ad vendor before you agree to buy his ads. First, you definitely need to know how big the email list is. This way you can estimate the clicks that are going to get sent to your page. And then, you need to know how the vendor manages to get your leads. The prospects that have a higher chance to purchase your product. How many clicks is the vendor able to generate to your page? Next. What is the offer the vendor can provide? This is to know how much you need to spend for the clicks he sends into your page. Most importantly, how old is the list? This determines the effectiveness of the list. If the list is too old, it may contain some inactive email addresses. So, after knowing all the techniques to deal with the solo ad vendors, the next step is to search for solo ad vendors. But where to get solo ad vendors? The links are provided at the bottom of this video. Feel free to check those links out after you get ready your solo ad emails. The alternative way is to search solo ad or email advertising plus niche name with the Google search engine. However, you need to do some research on the reliability of the site beforehand. 
How much should you spend for the solo ads? It all depends on the estimated numbers of clicks you expect from the vendor. This is why tracking is really important, because you need to know your numbers. The most ideal deal will be from 20 cents to 40 cents per click. 50 cents per click is still a reasonable number, but provided the vendor can really send in good traffic. If you have little appetite to spend too much on this, start off with a small number, such as 200 clicks. If the deal is 40 cents per click, the money you need to spend for this is $80.